Okay, everybody, I know that you guys love this model so much, so I wanted to make sure I went over it with you. I know it's got some tags on it here. I can take those off. Now, this model has a lot of mediastinal structures and even some structures for the face, of course, the neck. One prominent structure on this guy is the vagus nerve, cranial nerve 10. And you can see it runs all the way down. Now, vagus, remember, on the right-hand side, which is what we can see, is going to go down and is going to branch at the level of the great vessels. It is going to give off a branch that goes under the brachiocephalic trunk, which is here in red. I know this camera doesn't like being this close, but you can see a little white nerve going right under brachiocephalic trunk coming off of vagus. That is your right recurrent laryngeal nerve. This is vagus continuing down to give rise to your esophageal plexus here. Okay, looking back at some of these structures. Here we have our sublingual gland, submandibular gland. Here's your mandible. Can't really see the tongue's kind of back there. You can see a little piece of your stylohyoid muscle here. This is your thyroid cartilage with your laryngeal prominence. Thyrohyoid membrane, here's your hyoid bone. You can see thyrohyoid membrane here too. These muscles, you have your th thyrohyoid muscle. This is your sternohyoid muscle. This is your sternothyroid muscle. They've been cut, of course. This is omohyoid. It's been cut. Here's your thyroid gland. You can see brachial plexus in orange, so we can find our anterior scalene right in front of that. Then this would be middle scalene and posterior scalene. Here is your axillary artery. Trachea. You can see your trachea coming down and branching into right primary bronchus. This is your esophagus right behind your vagus nerve. Sympathetic chain in yellow. Posterior intercostal artery vein and nerve. Laying on top of external intercostal muscle. Covered by innermost intercostal muscle. Looking at the structures of the heart and lung, of course we can see the lung here. We can see our parietal pleura, this white layer. I'll move this number. You can see how it goes down here, folds up on itself, comes back, lines the diaphragm. Okay, this is all parietal pleura. This space in here is the pleural space or pleural cavity. Here's your lingula coming around the side of your heart. Your right lung is gone. Okay, it would be over here. It's been cut out. So here's your heart. You can see your little left auricle poking out. Here's your right auricle, pulmonary trunk. So this is your right ventricle here, part of it anyway. Here's your ascending aorta, aortic arch, brachiocephalic artery, which is going to come up and branch into right subclavian artery, right common carotid artery. Here's your left common carotid artery. You can't see left subclavian artery. Notice your vagus running with that common carotid artery. This is right atrium superior vena cava, your left atrium would be behind there. Here's your superior vena cava, here's your inferior vena cava coming up through the cable hiatus in the diaphragm. So this white part is the central tendon. You can see your fibrous pericardium that's been cut and your pericardial cavity there. You could even see pec major here on top of the ribs. Looking down here, we can see our splanchnic nerves. Here's our sympathetic chain. This is greater splanchnic, and this is lesser splanchnic, this little wire one. Greater splanchnic, lesser splanchnic. Diaphragm, central tendon, K 
cable hiatus with the inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, lingula of the left lung, cardiac notch, pulmonary trunk. This is your right pulmonary artery, right primary bronchus. So many things on this. I think we covered everything that you would need to know. You can also see some of your brachial plexus nerve roots, actually. C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, T1. I don't think it would be asked on there. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. This is actually C4. So C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1 are much lower. And then this is axillary artery running through there. Okay, I think we covered most of this guy. Moving on. Okay, guys, now I'm going to present this red man. I know you guys hate him. Uh, one of the difficulties is that he's all one color. So I don't know how it's going to show up on video, but we'll try. Okay, we're going to start at the head. I'm going to do some arm on here, too, be just because it's he's got some good structures. But let's start at the head. We can see temporal artery and vein. We can see facial artery and vein here. You can see the parotid gland, the parotid duct. You've got some muscles, masseter zygomaticus major and minor, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, sternocleidomastoid. You can see internal jugular vein, common carotid artery. Can't really see the branch real well. You can see omohyoid muscle thyroid gland, thyroid cartilage, laryngeal prominence, trachea. Here's your left internal carotid and left, uh, I mean left common carotid artery, left internal jugular vein. Here's your left subclavian vein coming in to brachiocephalic vein on the left side. Here's your thoracic duct coming in and dumping. So this would be left subclavian vein, left axillary vein. You can see, sorry, left axillary vein, left subclavian vein. You can see the cephalic vein here, dumping into left axillary vein. Here's your deltoid, pectoralis major. Here's your superior vena cava. So you've got left brachiocephalic vein, right brachiocephalic vein, dumping in there. Here's your thoracic duct in white, descending aorta. You can even see a zygous vein back here next to thoracic duct. It's up on the other side here. Right cephalic vein. You can see right axillary vein and artery, right subclavian vein very well. Follow this out, brachial artery and vein. You can even see some superficial veins and even some muscles in the arm. If we look at the hand, you can see the superficial palmar arch. So this would be ulnar artery and radial artery. And then you have your common palmar digital arteries off of that with your proper palmar digital arteries and veins and princeps pollicis artery here, radialis indices artery there. Okay, the heart is missing, but here's your cardiac impression. You can see the pulmonary ligament on both sides. Right and left primary bronchus, secondary bronchus, tertiary bronchus. You can see your oblique fissure of the left lung, horizontal fissure of the right lung, oblique fissure of the right lung. Here's your diaphragm. So right where this esophagus is coming through would be your esophageal hiatus. 
Again, thoracic duct with your descending aorta. And if we look right down here, we can see the cisterna chile. Cisterna chile right there. And that's going to bring, collect lymph from the lower extremity and bring it into the thoracic duct. You can see your serratus anterior muscles pretty well on this guy. This would be pec minor, pec major. trachea. And I think that's about it on him. He's really not that bad. He's just all one color, which makes it difficult. Make sure you take time to take a peek at him before the practical.